This morning at Bethel Park in Columbia, the ALS Association held a walk to defeat the disease. Thanks for choosing to spend your Saturday night with us. I'm Chanel Porter. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live in the newsroom tonight after hearing from one Columbia man who is battling ALS. Hannah, over 100 people walked a mile for this cause. Yes, Chanel, for the people who attended today's walk, ALS hits very close to home. You know what they can't do? They can't hurt my spirit. 46 people on Team Tiger came to Bethel Park to walk for John Tiger Cleek, who is fighting ALS. ALS is a disease that attacks a person's nervous system, weakening their muscles and making it difficult for them to move around. I can no longer walk without a walker or a wheelchair. Today's walk to defeat ALS raised over $100,000. Team Tiger alone raised $65,000. Cleek's neurologist, Dr. Rick Barron, with MU Healthcare, came out to support his patient. Barron said MU Healthcare is testing new ways to treat ALS. Proud that MU Healthcare can uh, be on the cutting edge of trying new research drugs for ALS because we will defeat this disease. Event organizers said they wanted this walk to bring community to people fighting ALS who may have felt isolated during the pandemic. Everyone has felt it, but the ALS community has felt it even more because they're the ones that are at most risk. The cause of ALS is still unknown, but Cleek is hopeful. I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter all my life. The Mid-Missouri chapter of the ALS Foundation said that this is just one of nine walks they have planned. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News.